IPv6 hosts cannot communicate directly with IPv4 hosts. For this reason, several transition mechanisms have been developed. In this video, we will talk about 464XLAT. 464XLAT is essentially an extension to NAT64. If you have an IPv6 only connection, you can't access IPv4 only content. Currently, around 15% of all existing applications will not work with an IPv6 only connection. 464XLAT solves this problem. With 464XLAT, the client application uses a stateless IP ICMP translation algorithm, which is a small piece of code that makes the client think it has an IPv4 address. This software is called CLAT. The IPv4 address comes from this specially reserved prefix. Let's look at this example. The Skype client software is an application that doesn't work with IPv6. The CLAT is used to translate the Skype client's IPv4 packets into IPv6 packets. The packets are then sent over an IPv6 only network to a NAT64 translator, which translates them back into IPv4 and sends the packets to an IPv4 only server, following our example, the Skype server. There is a CLAT implementation for Android and for Windows Phone from versions 8.1. 464XLAT helps a lot of mobile providers with their IPv6 implementations because customers with a 464XLAT capable phone can have an IPv6 only connection and still access all IPv4 only applications and content. For more information about 464XLAT, see RFC 6877.